Today, I want to talk about the difference between concurrent and parallel. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here, and thanks for all you do to support this channel. Today, I want to look at two concepts, the idea of concurrency and parallelism. These are similar ideas or sort of similar, but they're also ideas that new students, student programmers often confuse. In fact, sometimes even veterans, in fact, if I make enough videos, eventually I will use these incorrectly and one of you are gonna call me out on it. I can just guarantee it. But today I wanted to talk about them just to try to make your lives a little easier and help you sort them out, to try to bring a little more precision into our discourse we're talking about software and how our programs work. Also, different people's definitions on these terms may vary slightly. I'm going with mine and what I've seen in the field and what seems to be typical, but if your operating systems professor happens to have a different set of definitions, please go with theirs and at least until the class is over. And then of course you can tell them they're wrong. So what is the difference? Well, let's start with the idea of parallelism. So parallelism, simply put, means that there are two things happening at the same time. Okay, so sometimes we think about parallel computation Computation, that would mean that two computations are occurring at the same instant in time. Now, typically, this requires some kind of hardware support, right? So this could be two tasks that are being executed simultaneously on two different cores, right? They're happening at the same time. So literally, you could have two things happening at the same instant in time. And if I take two tasks, let's say each task takes a second and I run them in parallel, I should get them done more quickly because they're actually happening at the same time, as long as they don't depend on one another. But if they depend on one another, then they're not going to be really done in parallel because one of them is going to have to wait while the other one finishes. Okay, so parallelism means computation is happening at the same time. And this isn't just about processor tasks. This could also be two different operations like reading from a disk. The disk may be servicing a read request while I'm doing computational tasks. And those two things could be happening at the same time because they depend on two different pieces of hardware that are each able to work independently of each other. Also, of course, you can have computation being done on separate machines, separate servers. You see this a lot in big supercomputers, compute clusters that have many processors. So yeah, multiple cores, multiple processors, it's all parallel. Now, concurrent is a little different. If two tasks are concurrent, that means that they start and do their work and end in overlapping periods of time. Okay, so let's say that I have a processor that has a single core, just one core. It can only really do one computational task at a time, I can still run many processes on that task and modern operating systems are simply going to set timers. And every time the timer fires, they quickly switch tasks. So they'll do a little bit of your word processor and then a little bit of work on your web browser and a little bit of work on your video game. And it appears that these things are all happening at the same time, but really what's happening is the processor is jumping. The core is jumping from one task to another really quickly, faster than you can see. And so many people might be tempted incorrectly to say this is happening in parallel. It's not happening in parallel. It's actually sequential, but just chopping it up into little blocks. But because these things have the appearance of happening at the same time, because their, their starts and ends overlap, we refer to these as concurrent. Now, of course, be careful here. Some people like to think of these as two totally separate classes, but they're not. Concurrency includes parallelism. So if two tasks are parallel, they're also concurrent, right? Because their start and end times overlap. It's just that not all concurrent tasks are actually done in parallel. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you learned something new today, clarified some things, helped some of you on your operating systems exams. Hopefully this helps you be more precise in future conversations. And until next week, I'll see you later.